Monsieur le Président, Madame la Directrice Générale, bravo et, et merci de votre invitation. Mesdames et Messieurs les guests, I'll keep my remarks very, very brief. Um, and my first remark would be to thank you for your invitation and to tell you I'm really happy to attend your annual general meeting. As a happy coincidence, my visit meets your 45th annual meeting. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you. And above all, thank you for what you're doing for our relationship uh, between France and India. It is an anniversary and it is a time to celebrate. I was, I was sort of hopeful listening to the music accompanying my, my coming on stage, but then suddenly it stopped. So uh, I would like you to celebrate after my departure because it was good mood for tonight to get the things moving. So I am proud to say that uh, whether I look back or forward, what I see are great achievements paving the way for an even stronger economic relationship between our two companies, two societies, and, and we started discussing that earlier uh, this afternoon. We owe it to the work accomplished by the Chamber under the impetus of its president, Mr. Anand, and the members of his board of directors, and to the dynamism of its director general, I name one more time Madame Power Kanwa and our entire team. So thank you for that. But we also owe it to the excellent cooperation between the Chamber and the Embassy. Thank you, Madame, for mentioning it. And we owe it, of course, to the commitment of you, French and Indian business leaders. I read that you have 650 members, is that right? It's, it's amazing. And so you are in a position to play a crucial part in strengthening the trust relationship we have built over the years with our Indian partners, uh, you in your field and us in ours. Today, the Chamber is fully integrated into the Indian economic environment, thanks to the presence of the Chamber in four large cities. Is that it? Delhi, Bombay, Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, and soon in Hyderabad. I'm very proud to say that our economic partnership is based on much more than just business interests, paying due respect to what you're doing. And I compliment you one more time for that. But the relationship between France and India goes way beyond. We have consistently stood by each other, come hell or high water. I remember the impressive solidarity mission you've carried out to help the embassy during the pandemic, putting in place some um, help and, and supply of oxygen to the people who needed it. So thank you for what you've been doing, uh, mostly early kid. I know that they played a key role um, with their factories in Mumbai and in Qatar. And so you were able to provide in record time to hospitals across the country, 28 high capacity oxygen generators, each of them providing enough oxygen for 200 bed uh, unit ICU, which is uh, quite a performance, so thank you. But this is an example of how our friendship and relationship can go beyond just immediate business interest, even though I tend to believe that it was good also for uh, your image and um, the, the reputation that you might have, and so your business on the longer trend in this country. As you know, French companies have always believed and uh, invested in India's amazing economic potential. Today, they are employing some 400,000 people in India, direct investment. Uh, we exceeded, I think, uh, the uh, 10 billion euro mark in 2020 and reached 11 billion in 2021. So it's really progressing well. In terms of investment, I believe we can do even better. And if we can, we must. And we're here to help you. Please keep growing. Uh, that's fantastic. We would also like to see more Indian companies investing in France. And we believe the time is uh, right. And as you might uh, remember, for the third year in a row, 
France was the top European destination for foreign direct investment in 2021. So we did it in 2019, 2020, and 2021. We've been investing massively to make our economy even more competitive, even more attractive, even more innovative, and so to ring a bell for international investors. And it is working, and the latest edition of uh, Choose France Summit in July in Versailles clearly uh, showed it. There was a record of 6.7, I think it was 6.5 billion of uh, investment for that edition. But I also believe we can do better on trade. Despite a very positive trend in uh, goods, uh, which have been consistently growing before the pandemic, plus 8%, for example, between 2014 and 2019, our market share in India, 1.1% um, in 2021, does not live up to our ambitions, clearly. We have undeniably uh, strong fundamentals upon which we can build to better penetrate new markets, such as everyday consumer goods, which are soaring in this country, and keeping with the emergence of uh, urban middle class in India. I don't want to use for Hermes. We just heard Hermes telling us that it was a very promising market as well for another type of goods. So we, wish, we wish everybody uh, success in that progression. To achieve that goal to do better on trade, um, close cooperation between each and every member of the Team France Export in India is crucial. The embassy with its economic department, with Business France and l'Agence uh, Française de Développement, the committee of the CCEF, Conseiller du Commerce Extérieur de la France, and of course you, the Chamber of Commerce, which has a key role uh, to play to support and accompany French companies exploring and penetrating the Indian market. The tailor-made services provided by the Team France Export India are an invaluable asset for French companies looking to develop their activities in India. New opportunities are also bound to arise from the growing ties between India and the EU as a whole. Think about this. France is not alone. As you know, the EU and India have decided in 2021 to relaunch negotiation with a view of uh, concluding a free trade agreement. It will take some time, I'm sure, because they're very complex negotiations, but it is very positive that they have a new start. Um, they also started negotiating an investment protection agreement and an agreement on geographical education dear to my country. The French government supports this ambition in which we see a very uh, likely uh, way to ease the condition of access to the Indian market. Negotiations between uh, India and the uh, EU began last June. I believe the EU and the, all the member states have a high ambition in these negotiations, that of a balanced agreement, respectful of shared values in terms of sustainable economic and social development, and covering all economic issues, not only tariffs, but also regulations. And you know that there's a huge issue there and also relating to the protection of intellectual property and investors' uh, rights. The European Chamber of Commerce will be operational by the end of the year, and it will give a, a boost to the European-Indian trade relationship. So I thank the French Chamber for its support to this initiative launched by our embassy as part of the French presidency of the EU at the beginning of uh, this year. It will be a major instrument of advocacy without competing with the national chambers. Please use it. It is not competing with you, it is helping shoulder to shoulder each one of you. Above all, the role of the private sector is key in the broader Indo-Pacific, in the broader Indo-French partnership 
in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. I mean, beyond the Indo-Pacific is the planet, there's no limit. Trade was indeed um, never, never just about buying for a dollar and selling for two. It is also about strengthening the bonds that allow us to grow stronger together and help us reach our shared priorities. France wants to be India's number one partner to help achieve the ecological, urban, and energy transitions and demonstrate that environment protection and economic development can go hand in hand. Let me take a few examples. With regards to uh, urban and ecological transition, to give a concrete example, in Chandigarh, France, through l'Agence Française de Développement, will provide a 48 million euro loan to make the water supply system more sustainable and provide drinking water 24-7 to every citizen of this beautiful city, the city beautiful. On energy transition, we are partnering at the multilateral level through initiatives such as the International Solar Alliance co-founded and co-chaired by India and uh, France. And one of uh, this alliance flagship programs, Star C, funded by France for 1 million euro, is now underway with an Indo-Pacific dimension. So we are turning it into concrete action. France is also, I'm giving a few additional examples. France is also an active member of the CDRI, that's Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructures. Partnering with India, not only on mitigation, but also on adaptation to climate change. French companies and the, the AFD, l'Agence Française de Développement, are working together with Indian actors so they can ensure and enhance resilience. France is also wishing to achieve, together with the G7 partners, a just energy transition partnership with India, the GETP. This topic has been a priority for the Indonesian presidency of the G20, so this year, and France will strive to ensure that those who want to transition away from fossil fuels get the financial support they need to decarbonize their economies while ensuring economic prosperity and mitigating social impacts. We will provide our full support to India's presidency of the G20 next year with the goal of safeguarding the multilateral system and the global economy. Health and food security in particular are key priorities where we want to work with the Indian presidency of the G20. And we also believe India can uh, drive an ambitious climate change agenda. For example, through uh, Prime Minister Modi's LIFE initiative, which is of uh, interest to France, and I told the Prime Minister that we were supporting it. So there is scope for close cooperation on all the pillars um, of so many of what we can do together, building on the potential and progressive toward the future, and I name a few, but there are much more to say. So I'll stop there, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just wanted to take a few examples of our ambition, but also what we can do and started to do concretely together. So with your help, and again, thank you for what you're doing and congrats for what you're doing. Let's take our bilateral relationship to further heights. Thank you for what you're doing and thank you for your attention.